Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll explain what is singleton class. So that is one of the most important interview questions whenever we are going for automation interviews. So here, singleton class is a class that can have only one object at a time. So what do you mean by that? Okay, let me just go to Eclipse. Yeah, that is the Eclipse. I'm just closing other tabs and I'm creating one package here like interview questions. So that is one of the most impor important interview question we are going to cover. And here in this session, I'll cover a, cover a topic, singleton class. Okay. By default, if you have a class, you can create any number of objects of that class. So let's take an example. I'm just commenting these callings. Right. So now, as of now, I want to create object of singleton class. So my class name was singleton class and object is equal to new object means I have created one object of that class. Now it's it's up to us. We can create any number of objects. So let's take an example here. I'm creating one more object in the same way. You can create any number of object of any class in Java. So here we can see by default, it is allowed to create any number of object of any class in Java. But if you want to create a singleton class, so singleton class will be the class which allowed to create only one object at a time. And that kind of classes, we call it singleton class. So now I will show you how we can create a class which will allow you to create only one object at a time. Interview question would be, what is singleton class? So answer is singleton class is a class which allowed to create only one object at a time. Other question could be, can we create private constructor? Answer is yes, because to make the singleton class, we will have to write private constructor. Okay, let's move to Eclipse. By default, you can create any number of object of a class. But now what I do, I'll just go to the class and I create a constructor here. You know that to create a constructor, it's like public, public, and whatever the class name. So constructor name is always same as the class name. So I'm creating a constructor and that's a public constructor. But if you want to make singleton class, step one is make a private constructor. Okay, so I'll just make it private like this. Okay, when we make a private constructor, you will notice now you are not allowed to create object of the class. Okay, why we are not allowed? Because we know when we create object of the class, by default constructor is called. But here the problem is constructor is a private and it cannot be called from outside the class. So ultimately this this object creation is blocked. You cannot create object because constructor cannot be called. So first of all, we are blocking the object creation. I don't want any number of object to be created. So step one always would be make a private constructor. So here we can get an answer. Can we create a private constructor? Answer is yes, we can make it. And in singleton class, the step one is always make a private constructor. Now, second step is I'm just creating public static and I want to create object of my own class, which is like OBJ and by default, I'm making it null. So thing is that here I'm saying I have a object of singleton class, but as of now, this object is declared, not created because we defined it null. We make it static. I'll tell you why we are going to make it static. Now I create a method public void get instance. So this is the method 
where we will check if my obj which is a singleton class object if it is null then what you do create the object so obj is equal to new singleton class i'll explain you how it's going to work and return obj so here i'm returning object of this class object of singleton class so we need to give the name of the class here right this method we want to call by the class name why because here we cannot create object so if you want to call this method which will give you object that should be static static method can be called directly by the class name now everything is done first of all by using that class name i'm calling get instance okay what it will do when you call this method first time it will check this object is null answer is yes this is null so it will create object and will return it so here we are going to create get object of that class we just store it like this we just place it in this reference variable but if we try to call this again so let's take an example i'll try to call this method again second time so what will happen in the second time second time when it will go here it will check if this object is null answer is no that is already created in the first call so it will not create it again it will just pass already created object so the point is now whenever we are calling it first time it will check it will be null if it is null just create the object and return but second time third time fourth time whenever you are calling this method it will just check this object is null no it is already created so okay if it is already created just return that same object and why we make it static because static method can call only other static members so here this class which allow to create only one object at a time this is called singleton class so here we have seen we have implemented a singleton class and we have covered two interview questions one what is singleton class so class which allow to create only one object at a time that is called singleton class can we create private constructor answer is yes we can create it we use private constructor in singleton class that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video